Turns out Chris Christie isn't the worst thing to come out of New Jersey. Former Jersey Brick, Brick Township Councilman, he's a current council candidate, still running for office, accused pedophile, 38-year-old Dan Toth. He's been arrested and charged with aggravated criminal sexual contact, endangering the welfare of a child. This is stemming from an investigation involving a 15-year-old boy. Toth turned himself over to Ocean City Police, but the GOP candidate, he has yet to resign. He is still on the ticket for city council. You know, don't let a little pedophile accusation cramp your plans for, for you know, keeping your seat local, there. Local success? I, well, apparently, the, yeah. Really, these Republican fuckers do. That, I mean, they keep, some, they keep happening. It, you know, we see it often where the Republicans, they upheld their family views and the protections of the family status quo and the religious views. And in the other side, they are the Democrats nastiest. Democrats have pedophiles, too. It's not, a, it's not a party thing, but the fact that we've got Dennis Hastert and now it seems to be a, it's Look at trending the company that he alarmingly. Keeps. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, not a, it's not a good trend. But it is not. Anyway, you, you would think that somebody who has a respectable noted position, known politician in this area, you know, ties with the GOP establishment, wouldn't go around molesting boys, or at least, you know, he'd, he'd try to keep a lid on that during office, per se. No, I think that what an ego. The, I think that the, it's, ex, it's exactly that. I think that they get into office and they feel protected because they have these relationships and they feel he was probably that they can go him. around. Well, we know it happened before he got into or office. Or they feel that they, they get to this position where their, you know, their secrets won't be out and they will be able to, you know, keep doing the things that they're doing. But, you know, I'm glad that he's facing the authorities on this matter and he gets persecuted. And if he's found guilty, he needs to go to jail and, and pay. Well, the judge presiding over this said a $100,000 cash bond. He did not get the option of the 10% bond. You know, the 10% bond option wasn't given to him, so they're taking this seriously. This 15-year-old boy reported the allegations to Jackson Police, and this just came out. So he just reported them on Monday. He actually turned himself into police. He's, he was trying to get in front Quite of the storm. Quickly. Yep. Good luck with that. Anyway, we'd love to know what you think about this GOB contender for city council. Granted, it's not president of the United States, but he's still wanting political office, political trust, while being accused of molesting this 15-year-old boy. Log on, post those comments below about this story. While you're at it, check out the rest of our channel, and of course, subscribe to the Lib TV 2 for more.